Hey there everybody! Today we are working on making a purse strap. This strap is specifically designed for the uh, claw, dragon claw clutch, but you can use this strap for all kinds of things. This is just a very basic Tunisian crochet. I think it's called Tunisian Simple Stitch, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Alrighty, to start our strap, we're going to start with a chain six. We're going to work into the chains across in the second chain from the hook. We're going to insert the hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Like so. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing in the next chain. Insert and pull up a loop. Okay, we're collecting loops. Insert your hook pull up a loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Alright, so for this strap we have six loops on the hook. Now what this is called is a forward pass, and this is half of a Tunisian crochet row. The other half is called a return pass, and to do that we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way back to the beginning. And we've made our first row of Tunisian crochet. Now to work back the other way, we're going to work in these vertical bars. We're going to skip the first vertical bar, so skip that one, and work into the second one. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Starting to look familiar. Insert it into the second bar, or the next bar. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert it into the next bar. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Into the next bar. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then we're going to insert it into that very last vertical bar that looks kind of like it's the outside edge of the work. Yarn over and pull up a loop. So we have our six loops on the hook again, just like we started with. Next, we're going, so we're going to do our return pass and go back the other way. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Ta-da! All right, let's do it again. We're going to skip this first bar, go under the second one, pull up a loop, the next one, and pull up a loop, under the next one, pull up a loop, under the next one, pull up a loop, and under that last goofy one, and pull up a loop. All right, and return pass, yarn over, pull through two, 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 yarn over, pull through two. two. Ta-da! So you're just going to keep doing this until your strap is as long as you want it to be. This is nice and, like, firm. It's not going to stretch as much as just an SC or DC strap would. And it looks pretty cool when it's all done, don't you think? So your front side is going to look like this, with all those cool vertical bars. Your back side is going to look like this. And so you can use your, you know, make sure your front side is showing and use your back side to sew, sew together for all of your attachments. Thanks for watching a Hooked by Katie tutorial video. Please click subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And remember to go to hookedbykatie.com for more patterns, tutorials, and guides to help you improve your art.